What is going on everyone? So this week's video is gonna be a little bit different because typically for the gear guide format, I focus my attention on one particular product, something that I use in the field. But this is more of a video about an entire product line that's made by one particular person. His name is Dan Stone and his company name is Stone Photo Gear. And I had actually seen some of his stuff on uh, Instagram in the past, but he reached out to me, it was uh, a few months ago, it was just before I was heading on my spring trip. And he reached out to me and said, hey, I make these really nice eight by 10 film holder sleeves. If you're interested, you know, I'll send you a few of them so that you can kind of check them out and let me know what you think. And I said, you know, that's something I definitely would be interested in checking out because I'm kind of in the transitional process from the Ebony camera to the Arca Swiss camera and trying to find new ways of carrying things as efficiently as possible. Now, typically when I have people that reach out to me about particular products, usually I say no, because it's not really my thing. It's not really showing stuff to review here because it's someone that emailed me about getting something for free. But this is a little bit different because I saw a lot of potential here with regard to some of the other products as well. And secretly I'd already seen his stuff and I kind of knew that it was also really, really good stuff. So I'm gonna show you the film holder case. Um, so I ordered them in in red, in gray, and in black. That way I can kind of color code everything. It also kind of matches with the color scheme I have going on. It's all the exact same design, just different colors. But I'm gonna show you here kind of how the film holder sleeves are. Really good solid Velcro right there. And then you have really easy access to pull the film holder out of there without it getting caught on anything. Um, perfect size, you can fit one film holder per sleeve. Uh, there are some sleeves where you can put two film holders I've used from some other companies. And you know, they worked okay, but honestly, I kind of prefer having one holder per sleeve because it really helps you know, staying organized really nicely. Um, my goal is to have the, um, with the red sleeves, I'm gonna have Velvia 50 in there. The gray is gonna be Ektar, and then the black is gonna be either black and white or Provia, depending on what I'm carrying for the day. Um, but they're built really well, really high quality materials. So I was really, really happy with those. And I was so happy that I put my money where my mouth was and I ordered a bunch more of them. So these are all the ones that I bought here in addition to the three that he sent me. And uh, so that's my new way of carrying the film because now basically I can take the film holders in those cases and drop it inside the bigger case that I have the Arca Swiss in. Everything fits in there really, really nice. So I was really, really happy with that. Now, uh, there's another thing too. Um, basically, I was in need of a way of carrying the rail for my Arca Swiss camera because there really weren't any products on the market that were great for carrying the big metal backbone for the camera, for the Arca Swiss camera that I have. And so I was interested in him creating a custom case for that. So this right here is the case that he designed for me based on coming over my house and. Uh, checking out the, the rail and measuring everything. Um, so basically, um, I bought this case off of him after he designed it specially for the rail. It goes on the side of my pack and also has these strap loops right here where I can attach it to the side of my backpack. Really, really ideal way of carrying the rail and it really easily comes in and out of there. So I think that will make life really easily. Another thing too, uh, a little while back, I posted on Instagram a picture of my cat taking a nap on top of my scanner. And uh, I didn't know that he made scanner covers, but he kind of took that as an opportunity of saying, hey, by the way, I also have scanner covers if you're interested. And uh, so yes, definitely something I was interested in. I have an Epson V700 and he already had a custom made scanner for that, a scanner cover for that, which was really, really nice. I said, you know, that's, that's really nice. I would definitely like to buy one of those, but the bigger issue is my printer because that is the other place that my cat likes to take a nap during the day. And uh, if you get one little bit of fur inside that printer, it can definitely ruin a print. So definitely very important for me to have the printer stay nice and clean. And he hadn't yet designed a custom case for the Epson 3880 printer that I have. And I guess he had a um, customer in New Zealand, I believe it is, that was interested in ordering one. So he offered to come over to my house and to create a custom template so that he could make a custom fit case, uh, or I should say a cover for the printer. 
And uh, so I also purchased one of those. So now I have a custom cover for the printer, for the scanner, uh, for the rail, and also the film holder cases. So I definitely put my money where my mouth was and uh, was really, really happy to support Dan because of the really, really high quality products he does. Especially the fact that a lot of it can be custom made, which is really, really nice. So if you guys have any interest in having some custom stuff made, uh, check him out. He is on Instagram and also on Facebook primarily. I'll have links down below. But I am all about supporting the little guy who is you know, producing really, really high quality work. I'm very happy with the stuff that he made for me. And so you'll definitely be seeing a lot of his stuff in the future in the videos and stuff out in the field. So definitely I'm very appreciative of, uh, of the work that he's done. But hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you around next time.